Okay, national anthem is done and completed. We honor America. Flag uh, was standing at attention in center field with the wind uh, just blowing it briefly uh, to where it just uh, wallows in the wind and uh, it's stopped raining presently. Uh, St. Mary's is taking the field and Brush Beat Diggers will be the visitor in this game as a lower seed and uh, we will end up having baseball and I'm sure we will conclude it regardless of how long it takes. Uh, if there's rain delay, if there's lightning delay, we'll do what we need to in order to get these games in today. Uh, for St. Mary's, 18 and 6 on the season, Bill Percy is their head coach. Uh, this field, Morley Field, is 3A Field of the Year. Bill Percy is the head coach since 2007. He's also president of the Colorado Dugout Club. For his his team, as they take the field, Anthony Deppner is on the mound, and uh, he will be facing the lineup. I'll give you where everybody's broke down for St. Mary's. Uh, Sam Baldwin in left, Josh White in center, Evan Faber in right field, Jacob Miller at third base, Edwin Romo at shortstop, Joseph, S Joseph Sabish at second base, Nick Baca at first, Anthony Deppner on the mound, and J.P. Kloon is behind the plate. Uh, Deppner has a 1.29 ERA. Uh, seven and two is his record on the season, and he's been one of the main go-to guys for St. Mary's. Him and uh, uh, Edwin Romo. Romo pitched the first game today. He's thrown 57 innings on the season. Deppner has thrown 48 and two-thirds innings. Out of those 48 and two-thirds innings, uh, he has uh, issued 17 walks and 40 strikeouts. So he's not a one-per-inning strikeout kind of a guy, uh, but he faces this beat digger lineup, and the first pitch brought to you by Buildings by Design is a strike to Carson Rule. When it comes to experience, Buildings by Design is... The best in the business, quality, commitment, experience, make buildings by design the only choice when it comes to your next project. The second pitch from Deppner to Rule is a ball outside. One ball on a strike to Carson Rule in the top of the first inning. Deppner from the stretch and strike to Carson Rule. One ball, two strikes. Brush started slowly against Lamar Savages, did not have a hit through the first two innings, but exploded for 12 runs in the bottom of the third. The curveball from Deppner to Carson Rule. Carson Rule hits the ball to right center field and gets on his horse and slides into second base for a leadoff hustle double. Nice by uh, Carson Rule. Hit the ball right where it was pitched, put it in play and uh, made good things happen right there by stretching that single into a double. Brings to the plate Braxton Shelton. Shelton, first game was two for three, walked and scored uh, two runs, had an RBI. Rule leads off from second base. St. Mary's wears their home white uniforms with uh, green hats and green uh, uh, trim, pitch from Deppner, Braxton Shelton swings through the pitch, strike one. Deppner looks like he's going to be around the plate today. Deppner looks in for sign the pitch outside, and J.P. Clune, the freshman, uh, slides out on his knee pads and scoops up the ball. One ball on a strike. Made a nice uh, nice play behind the plate right there to be able to keep that from going to the screen and allowing Rule to be able to move up. So Rule leads off from second. Nobody out. A pitch from Deppner. And Shelton hits the ball down the right field line. Right fielder's coming on his horse and slides foul. And as he's sliding, uh, the ball drops onto the green grass. So just a long foul ball down the right field line.
Shelton seems to put the ball in play and make good things happen when he makes contact. Pitch from Deppner upstairs. Two balls, two strikes to Shelton. Rule leads off from second base. Nothing doing there. Pitch to the plate. Shelton swings through the pitch. Strikeout. Swinging. One out for Brush in the top of the first inning. Nick Wellen comes to the plate. The Carson Rule leads off from second. Deppner with the tenth pitch. And Nick Wellen fouls that back over the scores booth. And boy, isn't this nice. We've had a couple rain Rain delays, we've had rain, uh, wind blowing, but I've been warm the whole time. I'm sitting inside a nice booth with a window on the front. It is uh, just lovely in here. Pitch to Wellen, inside strike. Down in the count, no balls, two strikes. Deppner with his 11 pitches, eight of them strikes. It's a good ratio to start with. And Wellen hits a ball to right center field to the gap. Carson Rule is going to come around and score. And Nick Wellen is rounding second, going to third, and slides safely into third base for a triple. Wow. What a way to start for Brush to be able to get two balls hit opposite field. One for a double, one for a triple. Nick Wellen with the RBI triple. Brush jumps on the board with a run in the top of the first inning against Anthony Deppner and St. Mary's Pirates. Deppner on the hill, Clune behind the plate, Ben Garrett, hitter, swings at the first pitch, strike. Pitch from Deppner. Garrett hits a ball to right center field. Center fielder makes a long run to right center field, catches the ball, and Nick Wellen tags up and comes in to score. So Brush has scored two runs in the top of the first inning. Sacrifice fly for Garrett. RBI comes to the plate, Hunter Ludgate. Ludgate walked twice in that game against Lamar. First pitch to Ludgate, a ball. See if Hunter can put good wood on the ball with two outs for Brush. Pitch down in the dirt, two balls. No strikes to Ludgate. Ludgate threw out two runners in that Lamar game. Pitch to Ludgate inside strike. Two balls and a strike to the junior catcher for the Brush Beat Diggers. Deppner gets a sign, the offering. Ludgate swings through the pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Deppner, here's the pitch. Ludgate, strike three, outside corner of the plate. Strikeout looking, so for Brush in the top of the first inning. Two runs on two hits. There were no St. Mary's errors. There was no runners left on base. After half inning, Brush Beat Diggers 2, St. Mary's 
Pirates 0. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We're back to Morley Field at St. Mary High School in Colorado Springs where your brush bee diggers have a 2 to nothing lead over the St. Mary's Pirates. St. Mary's will be coming to bat for the first time in the bottom half of this inning, and they will be facing this lineup, Alejandro Maltos Garcia in left, Carson Rule in center, Eli Garcilazo in right, Ben Garrett at third, Nick Wellen at short, Braxton Shelton at second, Kyle Wellen, the start at first base, Bryson Wooldridge on the mound, and Hunter Ledgate is behind the plate. The first hitter is Jacob Miller. He's a junior for St. Mary's. Jacob Miller hitting 206 on the season, 317 on base percentage. But he was 3-for-3 three three hitting-wise in the first game, and he also was on base twice by hit by pitch. So he was on base all five times. First pitch from Bryson Wooldridge to Jacob Miller, a strike outside corner of the plate. Pitch from Wooldridge, a ball, ball on a strike. Wooldridge, 1.58 ERA, 4-1 and one record, 35 innings on the season, 35 and a third. Pitch from Wooldridge to Miller, swings through the pitch. One ball, two strikes in those 35 innings for Wooldridge. 17 base on balls, 24 strikeouts. Balls fouled back to the screen by Miller. Wooldridge, a senior, he'll be graduating tomorrow from Brush High School. But hopefully for Brush, he still has some baseball to play this next weekend, but we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. A pitch from Wooldridge, a ball, two balls, two strikes. Pitch, outside, full count. Full count. Strike three, inside corner of the plate. Strikeout looking from Bryson Wooldridge. Comes to the plate, Sam Baldwin. Sam Baldwin uh, on the season. Sam Baldwin's a senior, hitting 324, 405 on base percentage. Hits from the left side. Wooldridge, the pitch from the left side. A ball inside. Baldwin was 3 for 5 in that first game against the Academy this morning. A pitch from Wooldridge. A ball outside. Two balls, no strikes to Sam Baldwin. Pitch to Nick Wellen at short over to first base for a 6 3 put out. Two outs in the inning. Comes to the plate, Josh White. Josh White, a senior, hitting 500 on the season and 552 on base. He just made his debut here a couple weeks ago. Broke his wrist playing some basketball, trying to dunk the ball and uh, come down on it in the wrong way. Pitch from Wooldridge, a strike on the outside corner. One ball, one strike to Josh White, senior. Josh White was 3-for-3 three three in the game previous and had uh, six RBIs. Six of the 14 runs that they scored were produced by Josh White. Josh White hits the ball between shortstop and third base for a single. And so White is on at first, and coming to the plate is Edwin Romo. Edwin Romo is a senior also, and he's hitting 338 on the season, 439 on base percentage. Wooldridge, 13 pitches, 7 strikes, 6 balls at this point. White with the lead, Wooldridge to the plate, a ball upstairs.
Wildridge looks for the sign, goes over to first base, keep White close. Two outs in the bottom of the first inning with Brush leading St. Mary's 2-0. to zero. A pitch from Wildridge outside, a ball, two balls, no strikes to the number four hitter, Edwin Romo. Pitch from Wildridge down and in, swung at and missed by Romo. Two balls and a strike. Wildridge goes over to first base to keep White close with the count two balls and a strike. Sometimes that's a favorable count to run on. Fouled back. Still one ball, two balls, two strikes. Coach Bill Percy giving signals at third base coach's box to White. White takes off and a hit and run. And Romo hits the ball out to left field. And, oops, mental mistake by Brush. Ball was hit out to left field cleanly for a single. White on the hit and run comes to third base. Romo got stuck between first and second. But then when the throw came to third base, he was able to move up to uh Second, so a single by White to a uh, single by Romo to left field, and then Romo advanced to second on the throw, pitched by Wooldridge, a strike. And that's to Anthony Deppner, the pitcher. Runners at second and third with two out. Wooldridge, the pitch. Hit the ball to center field. Carson Rule moves to his left and underneath the ball and brings it in for an out. So Rule gets the out in center field. For St. Mary's in the bottom of the first inning, no runs, two hits, no brush beat digger errors. There was two runners left on base. After one complete inning, Brush Beat Diggers 2, St. Mary's Pirates 0. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We're back to Morley Field at St. Mary's High School. Alejandro Maltos Garcia leads off for Brush in the top of the second inning. The first pitch from Anthony Deppner, a ball to Maltos Garcia. Deppner comes from the stretch, and Maltos Garcia hits a ball. High down the right field line, the right fielder comes over into foul ground and is able to squeeze that for an out in uh, right field, down the right field line. So that's the first out for the Beat Diggers. Up to the plate is Bryson Wooldridge. Bryson Wooldridge, pitcher for the Brush Beat Diggers, comes to the plate. Deppner, the stretch, the pitch, strike, outside corner of the plate. Wildridge officially in the first game, 0 for 2. He walked and scored. Wildridge digs in, fouls the next pitch back. Wildridge falls in a hole, no balls, two strikes. Deppner looks in for the sign. Here's the offering. Outside, ball one, ball and a strike, ball and two strikes. Clune gets a ball back to his pitcher, but it eludes him, and the second baseman has to come in and pick it up. Sabish comes in, picks it up, gets it back to his pitcher. Deppner wiping off the moisture from the ball. So he can get a good grip in order to pitch this 1-2 pitch. Outside. Two balls, two strikes.
Holdridge has made good contact here recently. And pitch, outside corner of the plate, strike three, looking. That's the third strikeout for Deppner on the day. Brings to the plate Eli Garcilazzo, senior for the Brush Beat Diggers. Two outs in the inning. Garcilazzo, opportunity here in order to put the ball in play. Eli hasn't had too many opportunities through the season, but every game he's had an opportunity in order to, to, to play and, and to do well. He's done fine for senior season. Swings through the second pitch. It's always one that wants to be in the cage and take a few more hacks. See if he can put bat on ball here, put the ball in play. The ball's outside. One ball, two strikes to the senior. Deppner looking in. Pitch number 30. Coming up the pitch. And Garcilazzo fouls that back. Ball and two strikes to Garcilazzo. Deppner with his 30 pitches. 20 of them, 21 of them have been strikes. The wind just unfurls the flag in center field. Straight away, 360, 320 down the left field line, 301 down the right field line. Power alleys, left center, 355, right center, 340. Nice field, named the 3A field of the year. Pitch from Deppner. Garcilazzo fouls that off at the plate. Pitch from Deppner to Garcilazzo. A ball. Down and in. Two balls, two strikes. To the senior Garcilazzo. The offering. Garcilazzo hits the ball sharply past the second baseman. And as he hustles down to first base, he's on at first with a single. Good for Eli. And with that, Brush will have a pinch runner. Yvonne Cardenas comes in to pinch run for Eli Garcilazzo. And more than likely, Cardenas will take over in right field. Kyle Wellen comes to the plate. Kyle Wellen walked and had two singles in the first game today officially two for two but he scored all three times every time Kyle Wellen has an opportunity for brush this season as a freshman he's performed and done well Wellen wears number 13 on his back Cardenas leads off at first with two outs Deppner slowing down, looks in for the sign and over to first base. Cardenas back in. Deppner was slow and methodical, but then he was really quick at going over to first base. At least his lower half is quick going to first base, but his release is slow. So I think Cardenas can get him measured out. And uh, off he goes to go to second base. And Cardenas is in at second base with a stolen base. The pitch was a strike. So Cardenas second, two outs. Kyle Wellen at the plate. Count, no balls, one strike to the freshman. Cardenas leads off from second. Deppner looks in. Wellen fouls that back to the screen. Pitch 
pitch to Kyle Wellen upstairs. A ball. One ball, two strikes. Brush with a two to nothing lead. Runner at second. The pitch. Curve ball inside. Two balls, two strikes. Ball hit. Runner at second. Cardenas will be moving. Pitch from Deppner. And Wellen fouls that back and out of play. One thing Deppner's doing is uh, he's fixating on the catcher. He's not looking at all at the runner at second. Probably as soon as I say that, he'll probably have a pickoff move in order to go to second base. But it just seems like he looks back, he comes in, and then he doesn't look back again. Wellen pops the ball to second baseman for the out. So for the brush beat diggers, after the top of the fir top of the second inning, uh, no runs, one hit, uh, no St. Mary's errors, and there was one runner left on base. After one and a half innings, brush beat diggers two, St. Mary's Pirates zero. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. To the bottom of the second inning, we go with Brush Beat Diggers leading the St. Mary's Pirates two to nothing. St. Mary's brings up their designated hitter, Anthony Huber, sophomore for uh, St. Mary's. Huber was one for three and also walked in the first game. And he grounds the first ball off his foot. Umpire calls foul ball. The ball came off his foot and came out pretty solid all the way to the third baseman, Garrett, who picked it up probably about 60 feet and was ready to throw Huber out at first base. But Huber was hunched over in the batter's box because that ball came off his foot. So Bryson Woldridge, 20 two pitches right now, pitch on the outside corner of the plate, and that's 14 strikes out of his 22 pitches that he's thrown. Pitch from Woldridge and fouled off towards the beat digger dugout down the third baseline. We have a change. Yvonne Cardenas is in right field. Alejandro Maltos Garcia is in center field. And Caden Moriarty is in third. Ben Garrett picks up the ball on a two hopper, throws over to first base Kyle Wellen for the ground out for uh, the out. And Carson Rule is out of the game. One out in the bottom of the second inning. Nick Baca, senior, first baseman, pitch from Woldridge, outside, ball two to Baca. Baca was 0 for 3 in the first game today. Pitch from Woldridge, a strike right down Broadway. Baca, senior hitting 231 on the season, 404 uh, on base percentage. The pitch from Woldridge, the ball hit from Baca to second base. Braxton Shelton over to first base. And Wellen grabs the ball, comes down with it off the bag, but tags the runner out, Nick Baca, as he's uh, going past the bag. So play from Shelton to Wellen, but exciting, but an out nonetheless on that three hopper to second base. Two outs, brings up Evan Faber. Faber was one for three the first game against the academy and also uh, was hit by a pitch. He scored twice in that game where St. Mary's scored 14 runs. Brush has outscored uh, St. Mary's two to nothing. Faber hits the ball down first base Foul. 
Kyle Wellen picks it up, gets it back to his pitcher. So Faber is down in the count. No balls and two strikes. Pitch to Faber, a ball outside. Pitch from Wooldridge. Popped up to left center field. Maltos Garcia ventures over there and misses it. I don't know what happened there. That's an error on Maltos Garcia. Don't know why or how that should have happened, but it looked like he was getting underneath the ball and read it well. It just ended up falling safely to the grass. So Faber is on via the air at center field. Wooldridge faces Joseph Sabish, second baseman. Pitch from Wooldridge, ball outside. Sabish, a senior, hitting 250 on the season, going into today, 343 on base percentage. Wooldridge throws over to first base on a pickoff, and Faber gets back. Sabish was 0 for 3 with a sacrifice fly RBI, and he also walked uh, in the first game against the Academy today. Faber leads off. Pitch from Wooldridge outside, a ball. Three balls, no strikes to Sabish, the number nine hitter. Wooldridge over to first base, Wellen. Ball four, four pitch walk to the number nine hitter. Puts Faber on at second, Sabish on at first, brings the top of the order. Jacob Miller to the plate. Miller struck out looking his first time. Wooldridge, 36 pitches, 21 strikes. First base on ball that Wooldridge has given up today. Ball hit to Garrett at third. He steps on third base for the third out. For St. Mary's in the bottom of the second inning, no runs, no hits. There was one beat digger error. There were two runners left on base. After two complete innings, Brush Beat Diggers 2, St. Mary's Pirates 0. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We're back to the top of the third inning, and Brush Beat Diggers have the lead over St. Mary's Pirates 2 to nothing. First pitch from Deppner to Caden Moriarty, the new left fielder. He pops it up and fouls down the left field line. Uh, towards the dugout, and it's up against the screen, but there's not a play that's made. Brush, two runs, three hits, one error, one runner left. St. Mary's, no runs, two hits, no errors, and there were four men left on base. The second pitch from Deppner to Caden Moriarty, who hits from the left side, a ball. One ball, one strike to Moriarty. Filling in for Carson Rule. Moriarty hits the ball hard right at the right fielder. Right fielder made about five steps to his right and was able to haul that in. It was a hard line drive uh, out to right field. Sometimes you see balls like that that make the gap or get up and over the, the head of the outfielder if they make a one step uh, misstep. And if he would have stepped in, that ball could have gotten to the fence, but Moriarty got good wood on it. One out. Pitch to Braxton Shelton. A ball. Carson Rule, a senior, graduates tomorrow, but he and his cohorts have their graduation party tonight, 
and I think there's about five or six of them that gather in order to have their party, and uh, I think off he goes in order to go to that. He pitched the first game, a couple innings. Shelton swings through the pitch. One ball, two strikes to Braxton. That's the hard part this time of the season where you have graduation, graduation parties. The academy, they had a number of seniors. They only had 12 on their roster today because all their seniors stayed home and went through graduation. Pitch to Shelton, a ball inside, two balls, two strikes. Shelton, the freshman, second baseman for the Beat Diggers. Deppner, the pitch. Shelton swings through the pitch, strike three. Very unlike Braxton to strike out twice in a ball game. But he'll shake it off. He'll put good wood on the ball. He'll get some more at-bats this game. Brings to the plate the junior, Nick Wellen. The junior shortstop wears number 21 on his back. The pitch from Deppner. Wellen hits the ball past the third baseman into left field for a single. Hard hit ball that Wellen barreled up, brings to the plate. Ben Garrett. Wellen hit a triple, RBI triple, in the first inning to knock in Carson Rule. And then Wellen came in and scored on the sacrifice fly by Ben Garrett. Ben Garrett reaches out and hits the ball over towards the St. Mary's dugout foul. Two outs. Wellen was moving, although the ball was foul. Garrett was fooled on the pitch, but was able to foul it off. Deppner, this will be pitch number 50. Wellen off to second base and Garrett takes one for the team, hit by pitch on the left hip. So Wellen on at second, Garrett on at first. That brings to the plate Hunter Ledgate. Hunter struck out his first time up. Good opportunity here for Brush with one runner in scoring position in order to get good wood on the ball, put the ball in play. Stay with that philosophy of pitch at a time, a hit at a time, a run at a time. Ludgate swings through the first pitch. No balls, one strike to Ludgate. The junior catcher wears number four. Brush kept their gold jerseys with the maroon trim. Ludgate pops the ball up down the right field line towards the first baseman. Foul ground, first baseman gets under it and pulls the ball in for the out. So for Brush, in the top of the third inning, no runs, one hit, no errors. There were two runners left on base. After two and a half innings of play, Brush beat Diggers 2, St. Mary's Pirates Zero, you're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We're back to Morley Field and at St. Mary's High School in Colorado Springs where your brush beat diggers have a 2 to nothing lead over the St. Mary's Pirates. Coming up for St. Mary's in the bottom of the third inning is Sam Baldwin. Sam Baldwin, his first time up, uh, grounded out to shortstop. Pitch from Wooldridge, a strike on the outside corner of the plate to the left-handed Baldwin. Wooldridge, the sign, the pitch, and nice base hit to right field. Cardenas picks it up. The ball was hit uh, just to the outfield grass uh, and then rolled out to Cardenas, who got it back in. Uh, so it was between first and second. So that brings up to the plate Josh White. Josh White 
Coach Percy and I were talking during the Brush Lamar game, and Josh White has only had a couple outs since he's come back from his wrist injury. Wildridge goes over to first base on the pickoff, but Baldwin gets back. White had a single his first time at the plate today in this game. The pitch hit out to Shelton at second over to shortstop to get the fielder's choice and the force out at second base to get the lead runner. So that brings to the plate Edwin Romo. Romo hits the ball to left field, and the ball drops in front of Caden Moriarty. So Romo gets a single to left. White moves up to second base. St. Mary's has something going here in the bottom of the third inning. One out, runners on first and second. Deppner comes to the plate. He flew out to center field his last time up. Pitch from Wooldridge. Wild pitch, and White takes third. Romo takes second. Pitch was a ball to Anthony Deppner. Runners at second and third with one out. See if Woolridge can get out of this. Pitch to Deppner, a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Pitch hit out to right field down the right field line and foul. Yvonne Cardenas reaches up, and the ball must have been foul and up next to the fence. I can't see. There's a couple small utility buildings between here and where Cardenas went, so that's just a long foul. Two balls and a strike. Infield is in for Brush. Pitch, Wildridge to the plate, swung through the pitch. Deppner did. Two balls, two strikes. Just a slight breeze. It's not going to affect the flight of the ball at this point in time. The lights are still on. The pitch by Deppner hit out to left field to Moriarty. Moriarty grabs the ball, throws it in to the plate, and Ludgate gets the ball. And Brush gets the double play, the out in left field, and then the tag out by Hunter Ludgate at the plate on Josh White. So I'll come back after this. Brush Beat Diggers 2, St. Mary's Pirates 0. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We're back to Morley Field at St. Mary's High School in the bottom of the third inning, St. Mary's, no runs, two hits, no errors, one runner left. And we go to the top of the fourth inning, Hondo Maltos Garcia, strike, outside corner of the plate to Hondo. Deppner with pitch number 54, ball in the dirt. Yeah, that, that feels good. Ball on a strike to Maltos Garcia. 54 pitches, 37 strikes by Deppner. The pitch, Deppner to Clune, a ball outside. Two balls, one strike. 
Altos Garcia fouls that ball down the left field line and out of play. Two balls, two strikes. Brush with a two to nothing lead in the top of the fourth inning. Pitch up and in. Full count. Deppner with a definite two to one strike to ball ratio. You like to see that from your pitchers. Pitch by Malt by Deppner, two hopper by Maltos Garcia to the shortstop and shortstop over to first base. Romo Tabaka for the out six to three. Brings to the plate Bryson Woldridge. Woldridge hits the ball to straightaway center field and hauled in by the center fielder, Josh White. Two outs in the top of the fourth inning. Yvonne Cardenas comes to the plate. Nobody on for Brush. Two outs, Cardenas at the plate, curveball, strike. Gersalazzo had the base hit last time at the plate, and Cardenas replaced him. Cardenas hits the ball foul down the third baseline. Coach Odell picks up the ball in the coach's box, gets it back to the pitcher. Says, hey, I had good form. It's fundamentally sound. Everybody do that, right? Deppner, the right-hander, gets a sign from the stretch. Strike three. Brush, no runs, no hits, no St. Mary's errors, nobody left on base. After three and a half innings, Brush Beat Diggers two, St. Mary's Pirates zero. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. To the bottom of the fourth inning, I'm Kevin Fergus. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Brush Beat Diggers with a 2-0 to zero lead over the St. Mary's Pirates. Coming to the plate for St. Mary's in the bottom of the fourth inning, Anthony Huber, number six hitter. Huber grounded out to the third baseman, Ben Garrett, his last time at, at the plate. Pitch from Woldridge, swung on and missed by Huber. Woldridge flirting with that two to one strike to ball ratio. Pitch outside. I think Deppner has him by just a few. Seemed like Deppner was definitely two for one. Woldridge just a little bit short of that. I think he's 60% strikes. Woldridge pitched to Huber a ball, low, two balls and a strike. Pitch from Woldridge, swung on and missed. Pitch from Woldridge. Hit down the third baseline, past Garrett, into the corner. And you'd think he'd have a double, but no, he holds up at first base. Hit the ball hard. Throw from Moriarty into second base was over the second baseman's head, but not far enough away for Huber to advance. So he's held up at first base. Brings to the plate Nick Baca. Baca grounded out to second base his last time. Pitch from Woldridge. Fouled back and out of play. Almost hit a car. Maybe on the hop.
Wooldridge looks in for the sign, the pitch. Fouled on a check swing over to the St. Mary's dugout up the first baseline. Wooldridge up in the count, no balls, two strikes. Nobody out, and St. Mary's has a runner at first, Huber. Pitch from Wooldridge. Fouled down the right field line and out of play. Nick Baca, a senior. A pitch from Wooldridge, the senior. A ball inside. These guys are competing as seniors to continue to play baseball for next weekend in Greeley. The pitch from Wooldridge, outside. Nice pitch by Wooldridge, but low. Three balls, two strikes to Baca. Pitch from Wooldridge, and we got him picked off. And Wooldridge got the ball to Wellen. Wellen got the ball in his glove as... Uh, Huber is going to second base, and Wellen couldn't get it out of his throwing hand and didn't have long enough fingers and then threw the ball into the left field. So Huber moves up to second base on the stolen base, I guess. The pitch, Wooldridge, hit ball out to left field, straight on. Moriarty catches the ball, squeezes it for the out. So Huber on at second, one out for St. Mary's. Coming to the plate is Evan Faber. Faber reached base on that air by Maltos Garcia. Not sure exactly what happened there. It looked like Maltos Garcia had a beat on it, but the ball ended up finding uh, green grass. First pitch from Wooldridge to Ludgate. Uh, a ball in the dirt. One ball, one strike. And since it was in the dirt, it was a wild pitch. And Huber moves up to third base with one out. So one ball, one strike, one out. Runner at third. A pitch. Swings through the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Faber hits from the left side. I'm sure Coach Percy is telling his charge, make sure the line drive doesn't land in somebody's glove. The ball hit out to left field. Moriarty's already thrown somebody out at the plate and didn't tag up. Moriarty held onto the ball. Should have got it in, but uh, held onto the ball, and uh, Huber did not move up or attempt to move up because Moriarty already threw a player out at the plate, Josh White. So Huber remains at third base, brings to the plate Joseph Sabish. Ball hit out to right field, and the ball ends up landing in front of Cardenas and skips past Cardenas. So a single and advances on the, the hop. So Sabish gets the single. And St. Mary scores the first run of their game. So Sabish on at second base. Huber scores for St. Mary's for their first run, so we've got a 2-1 to one game. Sabish leads off from second. The first pitch by Wooldridge. 
Grounded to the third baseman, Garrett picks it up, throws Jacob Miller out at first. Five to three on the put out. So for St. Mary's, they scored one run on two hits, no brush beat digger errors. One runner left on base after four innings. It is your brush beat diggers, two St. Mary's Pirates, one. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We join the game in progress as we start the top of the fifth inning. The first pitch from Deppner to Kyle Wellen, a ball in the dirt. Second pitch from Deppner, a ball to Wellen inside. So Wellen, Kyle Wellen, goes up in the count, two balls, no strikes. Deppner, the pitch. Wellen hits the ball little flare foul over the St. Mary's first base dugout. Brush, two runs, four hits, one error, three runners left on base. St. Mary's, one run, six hits, no errors, six runners left on base. The pitch from Deppner. Wallen hits the ball again, just that flare up over the first base dugout. It's like he's getting jammed, but he's getting wood on the ball enough in order to foul it off. See if he can get one out in the zone where he can square up on it. The pitch from Deppner. Curve ball inside. Full count to the freshman. Deppner, pitch number 68. Wellen hits the ball hard on a one hop to the second baseman. Second baseman gets it over to First for the out, Sabish to Baca for the 4-3 to three out. Brings up Caden Moriarty hitting from the left side. He, he hit the ball on the nose, his last at bat, to the right fielder. He replaced Carson Rule in the lineup. Moriarty takes a ball outside. Pitch from Deppner, down and in. That was pitch number 70 for Anthony Deppner. 46 strikes, 24 balls. Pitch out, nope, strike. Umpire has just a little different strike call than most guys. Got to get used to how he reaches across his body and punts points and punches it. Moriarty hits the ball foul on the nose down the right field line and out of play. Two balls, two strikes. Deppner, the pitch. Moriarty hits the ball deep and down the line in right field and the right fielder goes to the line, and Evan Faber reaches up and makes the catch. Faber is a left-hander, so he had to reach up with his right hand, glove on his right hand, and make that play. Nice play by Faber. That, that really was. I think it might have been a foul ball if it would have dropped, but nonetheless, it's an out. So brush, two outs. Braxton Shelton comes to the plate after striking out twice. Very uncharacteristic for Braxton. Shelton takes the first pitch inside, curveball, a ball. Next pitch is low and in the dirt. Two balls, no strikes to Shelton. Deppner with the pitch. Ball outside. Three balls, no strikes to the freshman Braxton Shelton. Pitch from Deppner. Automatic. Right down Broadway. Strike one. Three balls and a strike. See if Shelton can square up a ball here and drive it. Ball four. Shelton walks. Wow.
One pitch at a time, one base at a time. That's where it takes teamwork to be able to put together rallies as well as uh, to play good defense, teamwork all the way around. The pitch from Deppner. Wellen pops the ball up in the infield, shortstop. Comes over and squeezes the ball for the out. For Brush, no runs, no hits, no St. Mary's errors, but there was a runner left on base. After four and a half innings of play, Brush Beat Diggers 2, St. Mary's Pirates 1. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We're back to Morley Field at St. Mary's High School in Colorado Springs where your Brush Beat Diggers have a 2-1 to one lead over the St. Mary's Pirates. We go to... The bottom of the fifth inning, Sam Baldwin, number two hitter for St. Mary's, steps in on the left side facing the left-hander, Bryson Wooldridge. The pitch from Wooldridge hit the ball out to center field, line drive, base hit. Baldwin has two hits in a row, this time a single to center field. Wooldridge, 65 pitches, 42 strikes, 23 balls. Josh White comes to the plate. Wooldridge, the pitch. White hits the ball to left center field to the gap. Maltos Garcia goes to the gap. And Baldwin ends up pulling up at third base. White with a double. And that brings up Edwin Romo. Coach Odell comes out to talk to his pitcher, Bryson Wooldridge, just to make sure everybody's fine. Where are we going with the ball? What are we doing all the way around? And uh, I think it's important to make sure everybody's on the same page. So this is more of a pep talk. Odell is done. Stubbs, gas, and oil. Fill up your cooler and gas. Up your car at Stubbs Gas and Oil. Easy and convenient. Make them the only stop you need on your way to the big game. Coach Odell back to the dugout. Runners at second and third. Romo, the number four hitter, comes to the plate with two singles on his plate so far today. First pitch from Woldridge. Upstairs, a ball. This is where you get down and dirty, brush playing in, the infield in, second pitch to Romo, a ball. Two balls, no strikes, runners at second and third, nobody out. Pitch, Boldridge, a strike, outside corner of the plate. Pitch from Woldridge, upstairs and out of the zone. Three balls and a strike to Romo. Romo was a starting and winning pitcher for St. Mary's over their victory of the academy earlier today. The ball hit by Romo out to right field. Cardenas pulls it in and gets the out and makes a nice throw to the plate. So we have the out in right field. And Baldwin tags up at third and comes in and scores. Ludgate made a lunge at him, but just missed. Umpire calls him safe. Josh White tags up at second and moves to third base. So St. Mary's ties it up. Two, ball, two, two runs each, two for Brush, two for St. Mary's. Coach Percy has Anthony Deppner run halfway up the third baseline to talk to him. You have one out, runner at third base.
Scores 2-2. Deppner hits the first pitch. Foul and out of the way. Pitch from Wildridge. Foul back. Foul back by Deppner. Down in the count. No balls, two strikes. Deppner fouled that pitch back. Mal Wooldridge still up in the count. No balls, two strikes. Runner at third base. Deppner fouls that one back. Four pitches to Deppner and four fouled off pitches. Wildridge looks in for the sign from Ludgate, the battery for Brush. Wildridge, Ludgate, the pitch. And the ball hit down the third baseline foul. Just past the diving Garrett at third base, but the ball was foul by the time it would have even got to him. So five foul balls by Deppner. Deppner's 0 for 2 today. He flew out to center field and flew out to left field. pitch. Wooldridge, ball hit up the middle through the drawn-in infield, and Josh White comes in and scores. Deppner gets the base hit. So St. Mary's takes the lead on the Deppner RBI single. Okay. Wooldridge looks in, pitch, ball hit out to right center field, falls in for a single. Anthony Huber with the base hit to right center field just over the second baseman's head. Coach Odell comes out to talk to his pitcher. And that's going to be it for Bryson Wooldridge. So we'll have a pitching change. What we'll do is uh, Ben Garrett's going to come to the hill, and uh, he'll take his warm-up pitches. Uh, the score is St. Mary's 3, Brush 2. We've got the pitching change coming up. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball at 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. St. Mary's Pirates have scored two runs in the bottom of the fifth inning to take a 3-2 to two lead. We have a pitching change. Uh, this pitching change is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, Greg Mullen and his team are there to make the insurance world easy for you. Call them at 842-4555. Ben Garrett on the hill for the Brush Beat Diggers takes over for Bryson Wooldridge. First pitch from Garrett to Nick Baca, a strike. What he inherits is runners at first and second. Uh, one out, Deppner at second, Huber at first, Baca at the plate, Garrett with the pitch, Upstairs, ball one. Maltos Garcia comes from center field into third base. And I didn't catch who ended up going to center field. We'll watch and see. Ball fell back by Baca. One ball, two strikes. St. Mary's, three runs, ten hits, no errors. Foul ball by Baca. Brush, two runs, four hits, one error. St. Mary's has left six on base. Brush has left four on base. 
St. Mary's with a 3-2 lead in the bottom of the fifth inning. Garrett peers in with a pitch upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Foul ball down and out of play over the St. Mary's first base dugout. I see what we ended up doing. Kyle Wellen ended up going to center field. And Wooldridge went to first base. Three balls, two strikes to Nick Baca. Ooh, that looked like a really good pitch. Pitch was right down the river, we'll say. Not the black, but the river. And umpire calls ball four, so that loads the bases. Deppner at third, Huber at second, Baca at first. Brings to the plate Evan Faber. Faber reached base on an air and flew out. Pitch from Garrett to Faber, a strike inside third of the plate. Ball's inside. Ball on a strike to Faber. Coach Percy comes to the plate to talk to the umpire. Looks like he's going to do a pinch runner. Let's see if I can catch the number. Number 15, John Stiefel on at first. But the bases are loaded. Deppner at third, Huber at second, Stiefel at first, Faber at the plate, hits from the left side, one ball, one strike. Garrett from the full windup. Fouled off at the plate in the dirt. Everybody stays home. Brush up the middle, double play depth. Pitch from Garrett. Faber swings through the pitch. Strike three. Two outs. Brings up Joseph Sabish. Sabish had an RBI his last time at the plate. Two for two officially. Sabish hits from the right side. Garrett pitches from the right side upstairs and the ball to the screen pass ball by Ludgate everybody moves up a base on the pass ball the ball was in Ludgate's glove Pitch from Garrett in the dirt. Two balls, no strikes. Pitch, Garrett, a strike outside corner of the plate. Two balls and a strike. Pitch from Garrett. Fouled back by Sabish. St. Mary's has scored three runs this inning. Three runs on four hits, and there's a base on ball in play. 
Runners at second and third, two out, the pitch. And Sabish hits a weak line drive out to left field. And as Sabish gets the single, knocks in Stiefel and Huber from second and third. And then on the throw, Stie uh, Sabish takes second. St. Mary's scores two more runs. Two RBIs for Sabish. Garrett, the pitch to Jacob Miller. Jacob Miller's had a rough game against the Beat Diggers today. Against the Academy, he was perfect. Against Brush, opposite, the other way around. Second pitch from Garrett inside to Jacob Miller. 0 for 3 officially, struck out, grounded out to third base twice. Pickoff attempt back to second base. St. Mary's with a 6-2 to two lead over the Brush Beat Diggers. Looking for more pitch from Garrett right down the middle of the plate. Two balls and a strike. Two outs. Clutch hit by Sabish twice. He's come up. Got three RBIs on the day. Pitch from Garrett. A ball outside. Sabish hasn't scored today, but he's got the three RBIs in this ball game. The pitch from Garrett tied up inside. A strike. Full count to Jacob Miller. Pitch from Garrett inside. Corner of the plate. Strike three. Strikeout looking. For St. Mary's in the bottom of the fifth inning. They scored five runs, five hits. There were no beat digger errors. There was one runner left on base. Brush had a pitching change uh, from Bryson Wooldridge to Ben Garrett. And after five complete innings, St. Mary's Pirates six, your Brush Beat Diggers two. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR. To the top of the sixth inning, we join in progress. The first pitch from Deppner to Ben Garrett, up and in, a ball. Garrett hits a second pitch uh, to the first baseman on two hops, and uh, Deppner works on his PFTs and makes sure that he gets over to cover the bag. And from the first baseman to uh, Deppner, they get the first out in the inning. Nice play by Nick Baca at first base. Hunter Ledgate comes to the plate with one out. First pitch to Ledgate, a ball outside. Ludgate 0 for 2 on the day. 82 pitches from Anthony Deppner, pitcher for St. Mary's. Ledgate hits a ball to left field and the left fielder makes a nice play goes back 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 and sticks his glove up and the ball sticks in the bottom of his glove Ludgate hit the ball hard but right at the left fielder per se uh, had to move but still was able to make that play two outs Maltos Garcia comes to the plate 0 for 2 on the day. Pops up the first pitch, up and out of play. I don't know if Brush is going to be able to get to St. Mary's bullpen or not. Deppner at 84 pitches. We're with two outs in the sixth inning. 
Right now, Deppner gave up the two runs in the first inning, and that's been it for Brush. Pitch from Deppner to Maltos Garcia, a ball inside. One ball, one strike. Maltos Garcia pops that ball up and out of play. By my unofficial count, Deppner at 86 pitches. Another 24 before he reaches the max of 110. Deppner with a pitch to Maltos Garcia, 1-2. Maltos Garcia fouls that back to the screen. One ball, two strike. Deppner from the stretch, the offering. Ball in the dirt. Ball skips to the screen, but no runners on base. J.P. Clune, the freshman catcher, goes back in order to grab the ball and get it back to his pitcher, who's done very well today. He's just given up the four hits to Brush at this point. Maltos Garcia digs in the pitch. Maltos Garcia fouls that pitch up and out of the way. Beautiful setting here at Morley Field at St. Mary's High School. Off to the left, you have the bluff. You have the rock outcropping. And just with springtime, about everything is green. The pitch to Maltos Garcia, a ball in the dirt, full count. Two outs for Brush in the Top of the sixth inning, 6-2, to two, the score, St. Mary's the lead. Maltos Garcia hits a ball out to right field, trouble, and the ball gets down the line and drops for a base hit, and Maltos Garcia gets a hustle double as the ball was to the line. So Brush has a runner on at second. Fifth hit of the game for the Beat Diggers. Brings to the plate Bryson Wooldridge. Bryson Wooldridge swings through the first pitch. Strike one. Deppner, the pitch, and it skips away from the catcher, pass ball. Maltos Garcia moves up to third base, two outs. See if Brush can get this run in. It'd be nice to be able to not only get this run in, but maybe extend the inning and score a few more. Pitch from Deppner, a strike. One ball, two strikes to Bryson Wooldridge. He'll be walking in a cap and gown tomorrow at the Brush High School graduation. The pitch from Deppner. Wooldridge hits the ball back up the middle. Shortstop makes the play and picks it up and throws over to first base low, but the first baseman, Nick Baca, picks it out of the dirt. Nice play by Baca at first for the out. Brush did not score in that inning. They had one hit. There were no St. Mary's errors. There was one runner left on base. After five and a half innings of play, St. Mary's Pirates six, Brush Beat Diggers two. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We're back with Brush Beat Digger Baseball at Morley Field at St. Mary's High School in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Brush has a pitching change. 
Cargill Meat Solutions. Cargill works with the community to make sure there are jobs for the members of the communities that they're in. Braxton Shelton takes the hill. Ben Garrett moves back to third base. Alejandro Maltos Garcia over to second base. Shelton comes in and faces the number two hitter, Sam Baldwin, left, a left-hander. Baldwin swings through the first pitch from Shelton. Baldwin is two for three on the day. And Shelton strike two swinging by Baldwin. Shelton working quickly puts down Baldwin on three pitches, strikeout swinging. Shelton on the bump, brings the pitch, curveball, strike to Josh White. Josh White, two for three, and was thrown out at the plate by Caden Moriarty. Ball hit out to left field. Moriarty gets the ball, and White tags up, and uh, Moriarty throws him out. 7-2. to two. Pitch to White, a ball. One ball, one strike. Okay. Pitch from Shelton, a ball to Josh White. Shelton gets the pitch, gets the ball, and pitches quickly. Two balls, two strikes. One out in the bottom of the sixth inning. St. Mary's, six runs, 11 hits. Ball outside. Brush, two runs, five hits, and an error. Shelton brings it, curve ball in the dirt. Ball four, White takes first. Brings up Edwin Romo. Romo is two for two on the day. Also has a sacrifice fly with an RBI. Back in their five run fifth inning. Shelton the pitch. Romo hits the ball to shortstop over to second base. And the out at second, fielder's choice. The ball was hit to shortstop over Garrett's head, but Wellen was able to pick it up. And as Wellen picked it up, he gets it over to Maltos Garcia, 6-4 to four for the out. First pitch from Shelton. Second pitch from Shelton. I fell behind. One ball, one strike to the batter, Anthony Deppner. And runner wasn't paying attention, but ball must not have been in the glove and applied. Ball hit out to right center field. Percy is waving him in, and nothing doing. Scores from first base, and Deppner goes into second base, standing up. We have Deppner at second. Romo scores from first on the hit to right center field. St. Mary's goes up on brush 7-2 to two in the bottom of the sixth inning. Anthony Huber comes to the plate. First pitch is a strike.
No balls, one strike to Anthony Huber. St. Mary's just continues to get clutch base hit after clutch base hit after clutch base hit. Ball hit by Huber to the first baseman, Wooldridge. Wooldridge gloves it for the third out in the inning. For St. Mary's, they scored one run, one hit. There were no beat digger errors. There was one runner left on base. After six complete innings, St. Mary's Pirates 7, Brush Beat Diggers 2. You're listening to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We're back to Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Brush has three outs to play with and score five runs, or they are done for the 2019 season. The first pitch that Yvonne Cardenas sees is hit out to right center field for an out. The right fielder comes over and grabs that ball. Right fielder Evan Faber talked off the senior Josh White. And Faber squeezed the ball for the first out. Pitch from Kyle Wellen to shortstop, hit two hopper to uh, shortstop. Shortstop gets the ball over Edwin Romo to Nick Baca for that out. So two outs in the inning. Two outs in the inning. And that brings to the plate Caden Moriarty. Caden Moriarty hits the first pitch. Brush is anxious <laughs> to put the ball in play. But we're down to our last out. The last out of the 2019 season. Deppner, the pitch. And Moriarty hits the ball to left field. Left fielder Sam Baldwin comes in, squeezes the ball. For the third out and the win. So for that being the out right there, that's the last out in the ball game. St. Mary's gets the win. Seven runs, 12 hits, no errors, and eight runners left on base. Brush. Beat Diggers, two runs, five hits, one error, five runners left on base. St. Mary's advances to Greeley next week. Coach Percy is going to have a wild week. He has a wedding in the Bahamas on Wednesday and still has to get back in order to coach his team next Friday. We will take a two-minute break. We'll come back with a recap. Brush Beat Diggers baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. St. Mary's Pirates, seven. Brush Beat Diggers, two. We're back to Morley Field at St. Mary's High School in Colorado Springs where St. Mary's Pirates earned the trip to Greeley to the final eight. They beat the Brush Beat Diggers. St. Mary's Pirates scored seven runs. Brush Beat Diggers scored two. So St. Mary's moves on, and uh, Coach Percy gets the Gatorade bath in right field. Uh the Brush Beat Diggers postgame show is brought to you by Mr. D's Ace Home Center, a proud supporter of all our area athletes. They'll serve you with all your home, farm, and ranch supplies with three locations to serve you, Sterling, Brush, and Fort Morgan. The line score for today's game, St. Mary's Pirates, seven runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left eight runners on base. The Brush Beat Diggers, two runs, five hits, one error. They left five runners on base. Time of the game, one hour and 46 minutes. The, winner, the winning pitcher, Anthony Deppner, and I think he moves to eight and two on the season. And the losing pitcher is Bryson Wooldridge, and he drops to four and two. St. Mary's Pirates, they move to 19 and six as they move on to Greeley next week. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, they should be playing at Butch Butler Field. Uh, but check your lo local listings, and they'll let you know. Brush Beat Diggers on the season, they fall to 13-10 and 10 to conclude 
the season. Brush scored two runs in the first inning. Carson Rule led off with a double, and Nick Wellen knocked him in with a triple. Uh, and then Ben Garrett knocked in uh, Nick Wellen with a sacrifice fly. That was all for Brush in their scoring. And highlight for Brush is they did get a double play in the third inning. Ball head out to left fielder Caden Moriarty, and he threw out Josh White at the plate. At the time, Brush still had the lead. Uh, for St. Mary's, St. Mary's didn't score until the fourth inning. Anthony Huber let off the fourth inning with a single, and Joseph Sabish, Sabish came up and knocked him in with a single. And that was their first run. And at the time, it was 2-1 to one on the score. But then in the bottom of the fifth inning, St. Mary's scored five runs. Sam Baldwin got a single. Josh White hit a double. Edwin Romo sacrificed fly to knock in Sam Baldwin. Anthony Deppner hit an RBI single to knock in Josh White. Anthony Huber got a single to knock in Anthony Deppner. Nick Baca walked, and uh, Joseph Sabish came up with two outs, and he had a two-RBI single to right field to give uh, St. Mary's a 6-2 to two lead. And then in the sixth inning, St. Mary's uh, had a walk uh, with one out to Josh White, but uh, he was forced out on a fielder's choice, and Edwin Romo was on at first base. Anthony Deppner came up and hit the ball to the 340 mark in right center field and knocked in Romo from first base, and Romo scored to give St. Mary's their seventh run. Bryson Wooldridge on the day, losing pitcher, threw 78 pitches, 52 strikes, 26 balls, he had one strikeout, one base on ball, but gave up the 10 hits. Ben Garrett came in and pitched 23 pitches, 13 strikes, 10 balls. He had two strikeouts, one base on ball. And then in the, the sixth inning, Braxton Shelton came in and probably on about 18 pitches, he struck out one, walked one, gave up one hit, and uh, gave up the one earned run. So, final score is St. Mary's 7, Brush Beat Diggers 2. So, that takes care of that. I don't have any updates uh, because to be able to work these games and... Uh, and broadcast, I've not had a chance to look up all the scores. You can look all the scores up and see who advances to Greeley next week on chassanow.com and look for the playoff brackets, and you can click on 1A through 5A, and you can click on the 3A and see exactly who moves on and uh, who does not. Uh, for today's ball game, the sound engineer and producer of Brush Beat Digger Baseball is Herrick Curtis. I'm Kevin Fergus with a final score, St. Mary's 7, Brush Beat Diggers 2. You've been listening to Brush Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.